Okay, so we're going to look into what energetic upgrades you're going through. Um, to those who are waiting for a pick a card reading, I was going to do that, but Spirit honestly wants me to do this reading instead, which is just going to be a collective reading. So you guys might have to wait a little bit on that. This is a time of rest and rejuvenation for me, so... But let's see what energetic upgrades you guys are re receiving right now. Okay, I knew there's gonna be something with voice because before when I even grabbed these cards, I saw express your voice or something with expression. So, some of you guys, you're still persecuting yourself because you still, it's like the way that you're viewing yourself or just your expression. And it's like, you still have a little bit of guilt and shame at how that showcases itself because you're thinking that, oh, I, I still have to hide this part of me. Um, but also like, it's like you're punishing yourself by keeping yourself purposely away from people. And it's like, you're not allowing yourself to actually connect with other people because of this. It's like, you feel ashamed for the pain that you're in. You don't want to project it onto anyone. And so you're thinking, oh, I just need to be isolated and be away from everyone. And I think that's kind of like, it's like you guys, but it's also purposeful as well because there are some things that you're needing to dive deeper into in terms of shadow work that you're needing to bring up. And a lot of this has to do with like how you're viewing yourself, but also the way that you express yourself. So your self-expression, but also just your voice in general. Maybe you guys have issues or you're still working on like becoming a little bit more authentic. Or another thing I'm picking up on is you guys may still have issues like when so there's conflict that comes up your way from something that someone else has created or like some type of argument, something that's like combative. Um, you guys still feel a lot of guilt for standing up for yourself and shame because of a lot of the gaslighting and manipulation and abuse that you've dealt with. And so due to this, it's like you'll feel guilt when you don't realize there are moments that you actually are standing up for yourself that you actually should stand up for yourself and should stand for your autonomy. But you're thinking it's bad or it's wrong or that you're a bad person because of these um, energetic imprints, like also known as these thought forms that you've absorbed from those abusive partnerships, childhood, et cetera, the different people that you were around that were putting you down, you thought, oh, okay, there's something wrong with me. And it's like, no, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just these people want you to feel like that because of their own issues. I'm um, hearing their own misguidance. And because the fact is they allow their trauma to rule their life, whereas you guys are actually trying to do better and work on yourselves. You guys could be feeling out of alignment right now. So another energetic upgrade too is one thing is like you're going to be feeling more comfortable, express yourself and not feel as much shame and guilt when you do stand up for yourself. Because like you'll sit there and just be like, oh my God. And it's like, no, it's okay. You did what you needed to do. You placed a boundary down. That's okay. You had to deal with people who thought that you weren't allowed to have boundaries. But the thing is you're allowed to have boundaries both for yourself and for others. And if people cross that, you are allowed to express that. I'm hearing you're allowed to lay down the law. Like it doesn't have to be this thing where you suppress things. Because I'm hearing that you guys had an issue with suppressing a lot of your emotions and your thoughts because you didn't feel comfortable expressing it because you thought it was a problem because of these people. So it's like a lot of like subconscious patterning and programming that you're having to um, deprogram. But you're going to get a little bit, you might got, okay, so another thing too, you guys are like going through like an ascension process, but you're going to be illuminated about certain things and you're going to gain some type of knowledge, a certain download that's going to help you to know how to better express and work through these issues. Also, um, you guys are also speaking with your ancestors a lot more or your spiritual team in general or any of the gods or goddesses that you work with. Like I'm definitely picking up on that. Some of you guys, I'm being called to tell you that you should probably start doing that a little bit more. Don't feel awkward or scared or nervous. Like they're not going to judge you. They know what you've gone through. They've always been there every step of the way. Like you're not by yourself. So, you know, if you need to vent to them and if you're angry or you just need to express any type of emotion that's coming out of you or you feel that stuck within you, just know like they will hold space for you and it's okay for you to do that. You don't have to feel nervous or feel like you can't express it. Um, all those emotions, like they're not negative. It's just you've been taught that because of the gaslighting from those people. And so you're thinking that it's wrong for you to have an emotional expression because these people punish you for doing that when... The thing is your emotional reactions were actually pretty normal considering what those people were doing because honestly there was something very uh, malignant or misaligned about these people. 
So you have to like forgive yourself. I'm not saying you have to forgive those people, but you have to forgive yourself and realize you are enough. And yeah, those people may have tried to push you down. And I'm hearing like battered and bruised and please trigger warning. I'm not trying to like trigger anyone with me saying that, but they wanted to beat you down to make you feel like you weren't worth anything. And a lot of these people purposely targeted you because they felt insecure, they felt jealous, they felt envious of you. They felt that you always get everything that you want on a silver platter and that you don't have to do any work, but they don't know what you've gone through. You guys have gone through so much. Stuff that honestly would break people or even send them into a psych ward. Like I'm not even joking. The type of stuff that you guys went through, like not the average person gonna be able to handle or withstand that. You guys have a lot of resilience I'm also hearing fortitude and mental fortitude. And um, you have a lot of emotional resilience too. And so I just wanna say this as a reminder to you guys, just because you have a high threshold for emotional pain that you experience does not mean, some of you it's physical too, that does not mean that you should just allow people to mistreat you. Mm -mm. You know that they're wrong. Don't keep doing this thing where you're like, taking note of everything they're, they're saying and doing and then you're just allowing it to pass you by. Like, no, like don't wait after you gather all that and then confront them. No, say something right then and there. Practice those moments when you're like, okay, something doesn't feel right. That's not just your ego protecting your, itself. That's also your intuition because it's letting you know, okay, something's off. So you may need to get more comfortable with feeling and trying to understand what your emotions are trying to tell you like if you're getting angry because something that someone did you might need to like look at like why that's the case sometimes it is warranted other times it's not and so that's something else that spirit wants you to work through you have to be able to figure out okay was i right for going off on this person and standing my ground and sitting up for myself or was i wrong and you'll get better at that as you move through that process but um spirit wants to ask you what is not aligned or needs to change they're that's your homework they're wanting you to look at the all the areas of your life and ask yourself ask yourself if you're satisfied i feel like you guys are not i feel like you guys there's you still feel like there's like your everything that you have in your life is not enough you want more so maybe um doing some form of gratitude work it's going to be really beneficial for you being grateful for what you already have and then thinking about what you want to grow from there and what actions you need to take even if you need to break it up into steps but then also asking yourself why you feel like what you have right now is not enough because like there's a i definitely feel like it's a sense of like a poverty mindset because it's like this insecurity where you're like oh, i don't feel whole and so you're looking for external things or external means to feel that void that you're having um also we have no wait postpone pause say no so i am actually picking up for some of you guys you've probably been getting called by so many people or texts for people to say to hang out or there's like someone that you're either thinking of starting a connection with but you've been noticing red flags or uh, maybe some of the people that you come around or became friends with maybe there's something off there or maybe someone's trying to invite you but you feel that there's gonna be something weird that's gonna happen there you need to listen to that so spirit's saying wait and postpone and what they also mean by this too is take a t take a pause and really tune into your intuition to, to see if, okay, is this right for me or is it not? You guys are definitely feelers instead of sensors. So I definitely want to say like, you probably might end up saying, mm-mm, or mm-hmm, but it's going to be more sacral, like gut induced. So you need to trust your gut. Also, divine orchestration all this is being divinely orchestrated but also you are surrounded by your ancestors right now you're kind of being wrapped and enveloped in their love and their light right now because you guys are going through this period of healing they forced you into this period of being uh, alone so it's not just you guys it was also by them too so whether you feel like you're getting help or not trust me you are if you notice like you're still making progression you're still like getting the things like the basic things you need you're still being able to spoil yourself. Like you're still being able to do the things that you want to be able to do to make yourself feel good. But I'm also seeing that you might need to um, bring something else back. Some of you guys are artists, but you haven't done art or connected to your creativity in a long time. And so Spirit's trying to push you to go back to that because that's actually tying into your inner child. But that's also going to help you to heal through and transmute these wounds that you have to really work with them. Um, and I'm seeing definitely like you guys could be painters or for some of you guys, it could be expression, maybe through like a podcast or just talking in general. Um, maybe you're a singer or something like that, but okay. Yeah. So if you, there's some musicians here. Some of you guys are musicians, but I'm seeing like someone really strongly, like you need to get back into painting. 
there's a reason why you keep getting called to do it, but it's like you keep holding back because you're scared of getting back into it. And I don't know if it's because you're scared of feeling the emotions or you're scared of like really allowing yourself to dive into that. And I think it's because a part of you is also still scared of like your power. Because I am sensing that there was a period of time where you guys were, your abilities were awakened to a certain level, but it got too overwhelming. So you shut them off and you're trying to work yourself back up to that. But like, you're still really terrified because it could have been really traumatic for you guys. Yeah, you got to work with your anger. Work with your anger. It's okay for you to be angry at these situations that you went through and these people. You have every right. But I also feel that there's some anger towards yourself. And you have to eventually come to a point where you forgive yourself. Yes, you didn't know any better. It's okay. But that doesn't mean you sit there and like, oh, I should have known better. Oh, I was so crappy and stupid. Like, how did I not see that this person was playing me? How did I not see that this person, you know, wasn't a good friend? How did I, like, it's okay. You had to go through that process so you could learn that. So that way you can better identify those types of situations or people or energies coming into your life. So you know whether or not you need to swerve left or swerve right. So... One of the ways that you might need to do this is through art. I'm seeing some of you guys are dancers too. So maybe dancing might be something that's beneficial for you as well. Yep, you need to connect with your creative center, your creativity. Because we have sexual energy. And you need to connect with your sacral right now. Also, you are your psychic abilities are developing as well. So you guys, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed this too and noticed this change, but you've kind of been having a struggle with trying to balance them and also like delegate a lot of like your um, 3D responsibilities. And so you've been trying to keep yourself as centered and as grounded as you can. Um, Spirit's telling me to tell you guys to look into breath work. That's going to be helpful for grounding you so that way you're not overwhelmed. This is something that like mediums, like us mediums and like channelers do as well. Sometimes the energy can be a bit much, but if you just allow yourself to breathe, that does bring you back to center. So that's why I brought up um, breath work. I mean, and I mentioned this before, but I'm gonna say this again, Wim Hof, the Wim Hof method could also be beneficial or helpful for some of you guys too, or maybe you need to do a DMT release. And also, I know I shouldn't be saying this, but maybe DMT needs to be in your life. I'll just say that anyway. Some of you guys also need to work on home and feeling more comfortable in your home. I don't know if you need to like do some feng shui or rearrange your furniture, but you need to create a place for it. Like you need to make it, create it, transform it into a space that is sacred to you that helps you to feel at peace and relax. Because you could also use this space to be able to do breath work and meditation and just do like your spiritual work in general. And that's gonna help you so that way you're not overwhelmed because, like, when you're, like, dealing with other energies and stuff, like, you're going to need a space for you to be able to just be. And I feel like that's something that you need to do for your space. Sometimes I can even be, like, maybe you need to start, like, burning incense in your house or, you know, whatever it is. Or, hell, like, burning candles. Like, or maybe you need to decorate or certain things. I mean, with me, I'm, <laughs> I'm, like, I have, like, little pumpkins. I even have, like, this big pumpkin over here. And I have, like, a gourd and stuff. And um, I've like put artwork on my walls. So like, that's what I do. And I'm not saying you have to do that, but that can help be helpful to you. Some of you guys, maybe you need to put like comics or something in frames and put them on the wall. That would look really freaking badass. Just saying. Um, also, you're shifting or you're needing to shift like your mindset and realize that and you can have the things that you want to be able to, that you want to be able to bring into your reality, bring into your life and have in your life. But also that there are endless, unlimited possibilities. Nothing is limited. Your thinking is because of these past situations. So like I said, the poverty mindset. But nothing is limited unless you view it as being limited. So that's something that else that you're going to have to work through as well. Um, but I'm definitely sensing it. A lot of it has to do with self-worth. Which, I mean, after what you went through, that's perfectly understandable why you would be having self-worth issues. Whoa. Okay. They got a lot that they're trying to say. Okay, so they're confirming what I was saying with the sacred space. And if you don't have a sacred space already, maybe you need to make like a room or a closet or somewhere in your house or your home that could be a sacred place for you to kind of be away from everyone or everything where you could just meditate, commune with spirit and just be able to breathe. You could also use that time to be able to cleanse your energy too. I'm definitely seeing and picking up really strongly you guys need to do... All right, sorry about that, you guys. My kid was uh, interrupting me. But um, 
spiritual baths is what I was picking up on. You need to do baths. Like this is a time for healing. So this is going to be a time where you're going to have to face those heavier, denser energies, those emotions that you're terrified of. So if you could do a spiritual bath, you could do that, set your intention, and then have that be pulled out of you. And that's going to be beneficial for you. Okay. Yeah. This is a time of retreating. So you need to get in touch with your feminine energy, like your intuition, your emotions, also uh, your sensual or your sacral sexual energy. Um, and like I said, spiritual baths are going to be very beneficial for you guys. If you don't want to do it that way, there are other means. I'm seeing something like with candles. You could put your energy into the candle and have it be burned away that way. Or visualization, whatever way works best for you. Um, and I just said retreat and I didn't even see this right here. Yeah, time of this is a time of retreat, like I was mentioning earlier. And some of you guys, like, okay, so this is for those who are healers, shamans, seers, prophets, prophetess, oracles. You guys, like, if you haven't already started doing this, you're actually being prepped and prepared, kind of going through an initiation so you can step into this role of being a teacher. You're scared of this because you're worried about all the pressure because you're feeling like you're gonna have to be perfect and stuff. But here's the thing, you're gonna make mistakes along the way. And the thing is you're human, you know, you're gonna go through different experiences in your own life, like your own ups and downs and your own emotional upheavals. But it doesn't mean that you don't have the knowledge to be able to teach and to help others along their journey because you do. So don't even let those doubts get the better of you and don't even start doing this thing where you start freaking out you're like oh my god but what if i f up what if you f up like it doesn't mean it's always gonna be something bad it's okay the right people who are meant to see you and actually gain or apply your knowledge are gonna come towards you and then there's gonna be some people who you know don't have your best interest at heart and who are trying to block you or whatever issues they have going on but you don't focus on that you focus on the people who actually need your help and your guidance because, like, those other things are just distractions. Yeah, this is also a time period of you learning to love yourself. Or learning, like, I'm hearing you guys didn't, like, you've always had issues with self-love. But this is really a period of you really pouring into yourself and starting to love these parts of yourself that you feel shameful of and guilty of. Where you feel like... You can't be like that. You can't express like express that or you can't think like that. Whatever it is. Some of you guys, it has to do with your own sexuality in terms of like the way that you dress, like your body. You may have some shame with that because you had to deal with some people who were more so focused on how you looked, like your body versus who you were on the inside, like a human being who has emotions and feelings and thoughts. Um, these people were very dehumanizing and a lot of these experiences were very dehumanizing for you guys. I'm also picking up for some of you guys, you had to deal with like parents or friends who were infantilizing you and weren't allowing you to have autonomy and freedom to be able to express yourself the way that you want. And so there was even like an issue with like control and domination. You guys are not meant to be controlled and dominated. You guys are meant to be free and meant to freely express yourselves in any way that you feel is comfortable for you. And if people have issues with that, that's their problem. That's not yours. But you guys are actually, if you haven't already, some of you guys already have recognized this. Some of you guys have not. Some of you guys are actually about to dive into this head first. Like you're about to dive into the pool or the ocean. But let me go ahead and go over some of the numbers we have right here too. So some of you guys who are watching this could be 40, 41, 44, 32, 25, 28. Some of you guys could be 19, which I wanna mention that all my videos are 18 plus. Okay, I apologize again because my kiddo. <laughs> but I mentioned again, like this, my readings are always 18 plus. So if you're not 18 plus, I'm sorry, you cannot watch my readings. Especially with the way that I cuss sometimes, which I'm trying to not do much of. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so some of you guys could also be 21. Um, you could be a life path five as well. But let's see. Yeah, if you, it's like pretty much you're having to learn to move things into balance. And a lot of this has to do with your emotions, but it's also your intuition and then also the sun. So things are being illuminated. But so it's like inner child and your shadow that are meant to come together and work with one another. But actually, I'm thinking kind of like a triad. So um, the inner child, your shadow, and also your higher self. And yes, your ego plays into that too, but that's more so tied to the human self, not just the spirit. But like the human flesh. Let me see if there's any other information that they want me to get out for you guys. 
Okay, so for some of you guys, there's uh, some ancestor messages for you guys. Okay. Okay, so I want to mention this is Spirits Pushing Me too. Um, I don't know if there's someone named like here like Kenneth Smith or maybe you have a family member that's named Kenneth Smith or maybe this person passed away recently or not or someone on here knows someone with that name like that name kept popping up for me like I even saw it in my dream so I don't know what that has to do with but yeah. Um, and also a word that kept popping up to me when I woke up this morning was self-aggrandizement. I don't know if there's like you had a guy you guys had to deal with a lot of people who had a big egos and they thought that their ish didn't stink and they thought they were better and it's like okay how are you better if you don't even actually work on yourself and i'm not saying that they're less than because of that either but like who wants to deal with that no one really deserves to be dealing with that you deserve to be around people who actually you know have accountability or take accountability and responsibility for the things that they say and do instead of trying to press that um or even like their emotions onto you, like that's their that's their choice that they choose to react the way that they do. That's not your problem. But these people try to make you responsible for how they're feeling, and it's like, okay, well, that's BS. Like that's not <laughs> you're not responsible for their emotions. All right, so they're saying that you guys need to answer the call, which has to do with you coming into this leadership position of being a teacher. You guys have already always been a teacher. You guys have also done this for many lifetimes. Some of you guys here are spirit guides or also ascendant masters, so you need to trust this. Some of you guys, like I said, are shamans. You need to work with the animals. The animals communicate to you and give you try to give you messages. So pay attention to the animals that you're seeing throughout the day. You could be also seeing a lot of birds as well. Some of you could be living, some of you guys could live in a place where you see a lot of deer or you might see moose as well. Yeah, they're wanting you to awaken your inner shaman. It's time to connect. It's also time to use this time to heal yourself because you're a wounded healer. But I got to ask you this. How can you heal yourself or even help people through your situations if you haven't healed through or worked through those situations first? That's why you're being pushed into you having to spend time alone so you can really work on working through these energies. That way you can also be able to teach the collective. Okay. And again, with what I was saying, notice the signs investigate them pay attention to the symbols that you're seeing throughout the day something i'm noticing that keeps popping up out throughout this whole reading is this trichretra let's see the other one was let me see where it was oh i know i saw another trichretra okay i don't remember where i saw the other one with these cards but there were two things that were kind of showcasing that but yeah, maybe you guys might need to look into the trichretra, but yeah, also pay attention to nature, like even nature spirits. You guys definitely have ties to nature spirits. I am seeing some of you guys like um, you work with elementals. I'm seeing like whether they're like dragons, elves, fairies. Um, I'm also seeing Caladrius, like a Caladrius bird as well. Some of you guys might work with a Caladrius or you might have a Caladrius around you that's trying to help you heal right now too. If you don't know what that is, I recommend you look into that so you can be able to know what that is. And some of you guys also have werewolves that you work with too. I just want to mention like not all spirits or other spirits and entities are bad, okay? I know that's always painted a lot on TV, but that's not the case. They want you to be scared of like what our true spirituality as a human race actually is. Um, so they try to put things into your subconscious so you'll be fearful of even exploring or thinking about it. They'll even have you think that some things are devilish or evil when it's actually not. So just thought I'd mention that. They try to demonize things. I mean, one thing which I've mentioned in many of my videos is how they've created, how they've talked about certain demons, which are demons, which are also like, which is called a guiding spirit, by the way. But it's also tied into the fact that these are all ancient gods and goddesses that we've all worked with and even our ancestors, but it's like you guys are so scared of even working with them because you have been fed a lot of lies. And so you have to go through a period of deprogramming that as well, but that's all a part of what this ascension and this awakening process is. It's different layers to awakening, which means different layers to the veil lifting, which means you start to see clearer and gain more clarity over time and see things for how they are versus the illusion that was placed around you. A lot of Piscean energy, you know? 
but um let's see if there's anything else that they want me to say to you guys Some of you guys could be really closely tied to music too. So maybe you, you can use music as a means to be able to release your emotions. Some of you guys, it might be like, maybe uh, you need to write, like you're a poet or a writer in general. Maybe you may need to make like short stories or maybe you need to write lyrics. Like some of you guys like playing, like not just playing, like you're not just a musician, but you also write lyrics as well. And I'm also hearing like, if you haven't already put yourself out there because you're still judging yourself because you're thinking, oh, well, I'm not as good as like other artists and stuff. Um, screw that, like F that, like stop telling yourself that. Just put yourself out there anyway. If you get ridiculed and stuff, so what? You have a starting point. <laughs> Anything that you're starting with something like this, like it takes time to build and you're gonna have like little slip ups or mess ups like here and there, but you start to gain more knowledge and wisdom as well as getting better at your craft over time. Some of you guys, like, you've been doing, like, music for, like, a long time, but, like, you're still, like, doubting yourself and your skills. And it's like, uh, hello? Like, you obviously have the skills you have for a reason. Like, you want to showcase them, but you're like, oh, I can't. It's like you're too scared to shine. And it's like, okay, people are going to get bothered by you shining, so you might as well should just put yourself out there anyway. But here's the thing, you're going to have a lot more people who are going to like you than hate you. And yes, you're going to have to deal with haters. Yes, you're going to have to deal with people who troll you and stuff. But their opinions and their thoughts and feelings of you doesn't matter. You have to focus it back on how do you feel about yourself in that moment. And if you want to be able to learn how to love yourself in this way too, to be able to feel that energy, ask your spirit team to envelop you in their love so you can be able to feel the energy. So that way you could start to not absorb that, but embody that energy, that frequency. We have Capricorn. You guys have certain addictions and stuff, but a lot of these I'm picking up on is like intrusive thoughts or a lot of anxiety. Um, you guys obsess over a lot of things instead of taking action because you're always thinking of like the what is or what, like, you know, what if something went wrong? And it's like, okay, what if something went right? So I challenge you that when that those thoughts of what if something went wrong comes up to think of what could actually go right if things actually line up the way they need to. And sometimes you don't need to have everything in order before you take action. Sometimes you just need to take the leap and the universe will catch up and help you and then move things along the way. It has to do with you overcoming these limiting beliefs and these shortcomings, like these self-limiting beliefs on like how you could do things thinking, oh, well, what if this happens? It's like, stop. You don't even need to be in that. Stop sabotaging yourself. You guys have issues with self-sabotage. And you care way too much about what other people think when really that does not matter. And I know it's because of this programming from the past from these people that's still going on in your subconscious. But you have to recognize that their viewpoints, you don't matter and you don't have to give it power. So start give, start adopting a I don't give a fuck type of mentality, okay? Some of you guys are just so used to being in your own routine. <laughs> you don't want to break it. You guys could be Virgos. And it's like you guys could be a stickler for routine and if anything comes out of that or it's like change happens you guys are terrified of it okay yeah i was right i was like looking on something because i was like trying to make sure that i had the right information in my head but yeah you guys could be mutable signs so you know gemini virgo sagittarius pisces which is weird because like you guys always adapt to situations. You guys are very versatile, but even still when change comes, you're still terrified of it coming. And it's like, okay, like don't be scared. Like you got this. Like you need to like hype yourself up. Be your own hype man. Anything else, spirit? Yeah, this has to tie into like your career, your ambitions. Stop worrying about the reputation. Your reputation's gonna grow. And honestly, how other people view you, you can't stop how people view you. Like, especially if someone's viewing you in a negative light and they don't see you for you, you cannot convince them to view you how you view yourself. Like, if people misunderstand you, you can't do anything about that. You have to also come to some form of awareness and acceptance of that as well. That's just gonna be a thing. Yeah, you guys could have also dealt with like a dominant parent that was just really controlling of like every aspect of your life where it's like they it caused you to have mommy or daddy issues 
Yeah, they want you to continue working towards your 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 goals, your ambitions. Don't be scared of putting yourself out there. Any other messages, Spirit, that you want me to close out for this collective? All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Um, let me know if it resonates with you guys. Give this video a like if you like the video. Um, and I hope you'll see you guys in the next reading. I will not be doing personal readings anymore because it's very draining for me, on my, me and my energy. I realize that I'm meant to do other things instead that Spirit's having me do. So um, if you want to be able to find, if you want another way to be able to support me, though, um, you're feel free to donate to my channel. You don't have to unless you feel called to, but the information about that is in my description box and it's in my link tree. It has like Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo um, if you feel called to do that. But, um, you know, that bit of money that it is that I get, I always use input into the channel because I want to be able to put out good content for you guys and, you know, also be able to get more decks and stuff like that. And I will say I do have a wish list available for that as well. So if you want to help out with the channel by going and purchasing hell, like an Oracle card deck or a tarot card deck, that would also help me out too. And that makes it where I could just like have like different types of readings that I could be able to do even for like pick a, pick a cards for you guys. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good one. And until then, peace, you guys.